Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss V array in Oracle which is a part of uh, Oracle collections. In the previous video we all learned how object type or how composite type works in Oracle database. Now this is the second video in continuation of the previous one out of in total 4 videos. So here we shall discuss V array. V array is a part of collection and collection is a part of user defined data types in PL SQL. Oracle 8 onwards we can have user defined data type, user defined data types and uh, you know when predefined data types are not sufficient to meet a particular business requirement you might need user defined data types. So here user defined data types basically are of two types composite type and object type. Object type we have seen previously now in this session we shall be learning uh, collections it has three parts associative array v array and nested table and in this session we shall see v array so what exactly is v array basically v array allows a group of elements of the same type and it is basically used for multi valued attribute just like object type is used for composite attribute v array is used for multi valued attribute when i say multi valued attribute one of the examples for that would be phone number like a phone number uh, uh, you know uh, an employee or a member in a table can have more than one phone numbers right and to make this phone number meaningful in the real time you might need only one phone number at a time so that way phone number is a multi valued attribute and to store phone number that is to store multiple phone numbers v array is one of the best tools for that so let us see how v array is useful you know it is a user defined data types it is a user defined data type so you have to create the data type first and then you have to create a table and in the table you need to use uh, the v array data type so let us see how it works so see friends here uh, here is the syntax for v array create optionally or replace type type name is v array size of v array of data type that is the element size so here element in the sense element in the sense you will store a certain type of data for example phone number so here you will have a phone numbers uh, the number of 10 data type size and v array like this is refer this refers to how many phone numbers you want to store you know in uh, for a particular you know record so create type type name v array that is the array size of data type and the element size and uh, this is the syntax and let us create you know uh, one v array data type and let us use that in a table so here i am going to create one phone array so the query for that create type uh, phone array is v array of 3 of number of 10 right followed by one slash type has been created so phone array is a type and i will use this phone array type into one table to insert certain records so you can see here so you can see here i'm going to create the table uh, table name emp phone wherein I have got two columns only EID number of three followed by phone with the data type phone array and my table has been created right now I have created the v array uh, data type I have created the table as well now let us see how do I insert records into this you could see here insert into emp ph values so for the first column value that is a normal column no issues for the second column value as we have seen an object type as well you must use the data type name and not the local column name to group together multiple values so here the first record i am going to insert it next i want to insert second record so it is 102 right and assume this record has only let us say two phone numbers so you can very, very easily do that and next assume one more record that is this record has only one phone number so we can do that as well yeah so one row created 
when you select data from the table you get the data like first record you could say has uh, three phone numbers second record has two phone numbers and the third record has only one phone number so basically this is how you can use v array v array it stands for variable array that means what you can have uh, one two three four you know up to the defined number of values into one single array its size uh, i mean the capacity is fixed you have to declare that in the beginning but within that capacity size can be anything and uh, v array is used to store multi valued attribute so that was a little about v array friends thanks for watching this video to watch more such videos please visit narish technologies on youtube.com thank you